You're about to see a few people learn to use the newest, most advanced business computer in the world. The early 1980s saw the introduction of a modern-day icon. If you know how to point, you already know how to use it. If in your office, you as an intellectual worker... Douglas Engelbart, a computer visionary at the Stanford Research Institute, had actually invented the mouse 20 years before. The tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. It started that way, and we never did change it. He made no money from it as the patent ran out before the mouse was mass-produced. Why? Well, in the 60s, computers looked like this. It wasn't until they shrank a bit that they became popular. But the concept of point and click has stayed the same. The mouse allowed the personal computer to go mainstream. Suddenly, anyone could understand how to control it. Beforehand, you had to type in complicated commands into the keyboard to get the things to work. But with the mouse, you could just see what you wanted to select on the screen, move the pointer over it, and click on it. More than a billion mice have been produced, and despite other innovations, Douglas Engelbart's digital rodent lives on. Richard Lester, BBC News.